Alrighty, boys. Well, uh, we picked up another gem this last weekend. Let me tell you about that. That was uh, Monday. Day off from work. Right after the 4th of July. Happy holidays, guys, by the way. Yep. Independence Day. Um, what better way to spend my next few weeks troubleshooting this $40 Skidoo. Um, this has got a 463 Rotax single carburetor, single pipe. Rotax. <laughs> um, we actually just unseized it. It was stuck, but it wasn't stuck bad. We had... We had to with put a 30 mil. A 30 mil with a swivel so we get past because we didn't bring any extensions. And then I just put myself. He just grabbed her on the. You know, primary, just gave her a good jerk. Gave her a good jerk and I'm very, myself very a skeptical bit. right now, guys. Uh, um, if you can see here, there's a uh, head stud missing. Um, head nut. And th this might be. This may or may not be a coil laying over here. It's mounted on the side. The coil guys, the spacers mm -hmm. here, there. Um, so and they had this coolant hose. So I'm guessing they had the head off for some reason. It could have a burnt piston or two. Um, it has a little bit of a, I mean, it turns over quite nice, but there is a, a spot right here that doesn't feel so good. And uh, it kind of might be a, could be a crank bearing, you know, the way it sounds, or there could be some binding. These have a rotary valve, so there's a cross shaft running the water pump and then running the oil pump and rotary valve on the other side and the bottom of the engine. And this is just a... Uh, this is the hose. Did they take that off, or is that running up to the? That runs up to the oil tank. Okay. Yep. And that's pretty standard. That that cools the rotary valve and the bearing underneath there. So there's a hose here, feeding the top. That's why this reservoir is always going to have oil in it. Um, but yeah, so we may just take a 13 and pop these, uh, what you call it, uh, head off, and then we'll just inspect it because it, we could see some deterioration detonation. Um, you guys look at the track and the skid and everything on this thing, it's awesome. It's pretty sound. I think this is, it's an 85. I'm not sure if it's a Formula SP like I've had or if it's an SS or SS25. IFAX, nice red I mean, IFAX. The track is very, very good shape. Clips from the track, cookies are nice, slides are like brand new. The hood's in great shape, there's literally no cracks. It's we got, got a this big look at this Steve exhaust 940 miles on it apparently, if that's accurate. Could be, could be not original. Um, has the toolbox that I'm not going to open because there may be some strange things in there. And let's not talk about the didgeridoo over here for an exhaust. That pipe. exhaust is what I had on my SP too. Oh, wow. Um, the tank smelled disgusting. I think it's dry, not going to lie. Which is... Secondary, secondary does, you know, move in the spring. Has some, you know, it still works. Uh, on the um, oh boy, they had this fucking thing off here. That's always good. They were messing with the clutch. I think that's what, something with the clutch on there, but I'm going to make sure we tighten that before we give her a full send. There's a little cotter pin there. Brakes even work, which, I mean, you can't even ask for a better machine. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> we don't stop the engine. <laughs> like I said, paid 40 bucks for it. It could be junk. If the pistons are burnt, is it really worth putting in some money? If we can find some shitty aftermarket pistons for cheap, do a quick hone job. Because we did do the, the Skidoo form, uh, MXZ uh, 583. Or was that a Formula Z? That was a Formula Z. Formula Z 583. We did a... But it has a... Was that a head gasket we did on there or a base gasket? Base gasket. We did a base base gasket on and there. And just this here has a spot right here. It's just... It's at top dead center of one of them. And oh, it just feels a little sound good. A little uh, off We had a phaser there. like this too that had a tight spot. And I think it's a crank bearing when that happens. Yeah. So... If we can get it running, we'll just run until she drops. Yeah, I mean, um, for 40 bucks, guys, we just send these. I mean, it's yeah. sad because the the cosmetics and everything are good. They're sound, like foam in the hood, like... I know, you wow. can't... Like, I bet we could find and sell this hood. Right. Um, but yeah, we're going to take the head off quick, see what we can find. Um, and, and then, like I said, the recoil was snapped. That's because yeah, they... Yeah, recoil is sitting right, right, over here. right over here. So we just put a 30 millimeter... Skidoo's got a 30 millimeter socket on the flywheel, so... All right, we're going to get that head pulled off. Okay, so uh, seeing as though they were uh, factory hand-tight uh, bolts on the head, I would suspect no one was in here, right, Mike? Yeah. You got this wire, you might be. Ooh. Oh. She blew apart a needle bearing. That's what happened. That's what that's from. Ooh. And this side here, too. Both these sides are junk. Wow. Ooh, wowzers. Yeah. That thing got angry and it went, went tap dancing. Usually those divots like that, guys, is usually a part of a needle bearing or a broken ring, um, something like that. You can see this thing got 
really I had warm. That dinged up really good. You too. can see it got really warm. These O rings are all nice and hot. So it's safe to say it wouldn't be worth fixing this one. I mean, even if you tore it all down, these cylinders are junk. You'd have to get them bored um, and whatnot. But alrighty. Well, that's good. I see they had to head off for a reason. You know, they don't just park stuff for no reason. <laughs> Well, I'll look around um, for a motor. Maybe we can get a motor for one of these for 50 bucks. She's pissing some coolant out there. Yeah, it's all the base gas because uh, the cylinders, so this is all one. You can yep, take these. It's all loose because it's. You can take these whole things mm -hmm. right off. Um, a little bit of coolant coming out of her. Probably want to tighten this back up so we don't lose all the fucking coolant in the ground. All right, we can sell that coolant, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, this is going to leak all over my storage unit. Oh, even better. I'll find some rags. Oh yeah, we got just the guy from that phaser, the lead varnish on that thing. <laughs> and you can see that yellow shirt, that's from the Yamaha phaser, guys. If you're an OG to the, you don't have to be an OG to the channel, but... Yeah, at least there's coolant in the heat exchangers. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah, and then one was But missing. uh yeah, she was parked for a reason. Yeah. They just said, yeah, it was sitting for a long time. Yes, indeed it was. That's when she stopped. It blew apart. Something that's why I felt a tight spot when I was turning it. And I wasn't I didn't a little like sus. It. I was a little sus. A little sus, guys. It was very sus. So yeah, I mean We'll see if we can get a possible. I'll go online and see if there's a motor available. If somebody has a used one, you know, for right. 50 bucks. Maybe one's going to junk body and kind of swap over. Otherwise, we'll just part it out. Uh, yeah. It's got a good, you know, CDI coil. That's for a, it's a nip and denso most likely for a lot of skidoos. Uh, those can interchange. Exhaust Clutches. is always worth something. Yep. Hood's worth something. Well, we'll just find another one and then get a motor or something. Right. Well, maybe I can figure a way to put that Polaris 340 Indy motor in this thing. That's in that sheepdog. <laughs> that sheep. Oh no, didn't we dump that in SRV? No, it's got a sheep. It's in the sheepdog yet. Sure. But we anyways, got... guys, great little, uh, you know, inspection. <laughs> Never believe anybody that ever says it just sat. Uh, there's always a reason. I, I was dumb and didn't see the head nuts loose. Um, me and Sparky went and get this thing. It was like a Monday afternoon. The guy would... Hotter than all heck. Oh, yeah. It was like 95 degrees. We literally went there. We opened the hood. And we're like, oh, it's complete. Engine's tight. And granted, track looks good. Forty bucks is forty bucks. You know, you could sell one thing and get forty bucks. Exactly. Like, but anyways, that is some serious catastrophic failure. That's never going to run. Um, I mean, everything's detonated. So, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this little segment of uh, trying to resurrect the forty dollars skidoo. <laughs> uh, not so good. I might not be very well. Uh, we might just sell it. As is, we might sell it for parts. We might find a motor. So. Stay tuned for the next segment of. Is that fucked? <laughs> yeah, that's a good. We should do that. <laughs> I was. Going, I looked at another one for twenty bucks. It was an Articad five fifty. This thing was rougher than this, though. I mean, the motor may have ran, but it was. But at what cost? Oh, oh it was terrible. You, I got a carburetor. I got a recoil. Skidoo recoil. We got some. We got some. Uh, this thing even has bars. a key, key and tether. Nice. So maybe I'll find it. I like though these things. My old Skidoo like this, my SP actually hauled the mail. It was a ripper. Yeah. It just had it couldn't steer it because something was seized up. This one actually steers really well. Yeah. It has carbide I mean, on the on the runners yet. I looked. It they're nice. Very nice. Alrighty guys, if you guys want us to do more of these videos, we will definitely do it. We're gonna this summertime is the best time to buy fifty dollar and forty dollar sleds. So I'll buy as many as I can. We'll keep the videos coming. And we're very notorious for doing so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned.